Good morning everybody, Ari here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I want to discuss some of the biggest issues I see with Shopify dropshipping and also how you can fix them or even how you can prevent them from happening in the first place, which will save you a ridiculous amount of time and money and time is money, so it'll basically save you double the amount of money. <laughs> so some of these issues have caused my dropshipping businesses in the past to go to zero and not even just new stores, right? Like I've had new stores that I've scaled to like 10K a day in a super short amount of time that have gone to zero. <laughs> I've had stores that have scaled to nearly half a million dollars and then gone right back down to zero. And while all of that experience was amazing, right? I learned a lot of things. I made a decent amount of money there. Had I known about these things that I'm about to tell you today, I could have kept those stores going, potentially sold them for a pretty decent multiple. Of course, I didn't know about these things. I had to learn from experience, but lucky for you, you stumbled across this video. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now today, actually, I received word from one of my sourcing agents. So a sourcing agent, if you don't know, is basically a third party system or business that helps you fulfill your orders without you having to hold inventory in your own facility facility, they hold the inventory for you and ship everything out. So of course, most of you know Shopify dropshipping as like, you know, AliExpress dropshipping. So you go on AliExpress and you find products to sell. This is traditionally how it's done, but this is actually how the noobs do it, to be honest with you. The people who are experienced with dropshipping, they use sourcing agents. They don't go through AliExpress. And there's many reasons for that. Of course, the main one being that you can provide a better customer experience, you have more control over your business, you can ship things a little bit faster, and you're not gonna get as much competition because your AliExpress listing is not gonna be getting a ton of new orders every day. So some of this stuff may go over your head if you're new to dropshipping, but still, it's important that you hear this, so please just try to stay the course, okay? Even if you don't understand a few of these things, you can always just ask me in the comments, so don't worry. But anyways, my sourcing agent today informed me that shipping prices from China are actually going up right now. So this is due to high demand for the holiday season. It kind of makes sense. And of course, that's really bad for margins. It's really bad just overall. But what sucks about this too is that right after the holiday season is over, we go right into Chinese New Year, which is basically like two weeks that you just can't ship anything out from China. And you know, those two weeks are hell for most dropshipping businesses because customers are typically very angry. So really the main thing that I want to share with you here is how you can start off on the right foot so that you don't run into, you know, terrible issues down the line such as bad customer feedback ratings, bad customer service, bad product reviews, Facebook ad bans, PayPal holds, etc. So the best way to do this is to first of all go to the AliExpress dropshipping center. So this is where you should start your dropshipping journey and the reason why is because on the dropshipping center here first of all we get a ton of metrics on potential products to sell which is really great and second of all we can see actually how these products are not only doing in sales performance but also in rating so how people have been rating these products and this is a free tool i've been telling you guys about the aliexpress dropshipping center for a long time it's funny because AliExpress actually encourages people to dropship. And even though the title of this video even could be taken the wrong way, I don't think dropshipping is bad at all. I think dropshipping is a really, really cool business model. It's just that most people stay in the AliExpress dropshipping stage and never transition into something better. And because of that, their businesses end up dying. And again, I was one of those people for a very long time as well. I didn't really know my way around this. I didn't even know about sourcing agents. But here's the thing, once you find a product here on the drop shipping center that you like, make sure that this product can be shipped from whatever country you are gonna be selling in. So for the majority of you, it's gonna be the United States, right? But if you're not from the US, which I know a lot of you guys actually aren't from the US as well, use whichever country, whichever language here you can speak. So for example, if you are Russian, maybe look for a product that ships from Russia and create a Russia only store. This is a genius idea because first of all, the competition is gonna be extremely low there. Second of all, you're gonna get really fast shipping to that country specifically. And third of all, you're gonna be able to scale really, really big 
in this particular country and be extremely profitable. Same thing if you're from Italy, for example. If you're from Italy, you know Italian, make sure you start by finding products that ship from Italy. You know, for example, something like this. This product looks really, really cool and it ships from all of these different countries. This could be a big brand off of this little skincare product. But here's a little hack. So as you see, most of these don't show that they ship from the US. So for some reason, the US is just hidden here. But if you just go here to the search bar and you find this part that says ships from. So we just click right there instead of IT, which is Italy. We will just do us now it's showing us products that ship from the us as you see right here so if we start scrolling down we can find us only products and again make sure that you're looking at products that have a good rating that do have a decent amount of orders that kind of shows you that the product is in high demand of course if you find one that has like no orders if you're just a beginner it's gonna be hard to really know which product will sell so i would just make sure that you're kind of using the, these metrics as a guiding line so make sure that they have at least like 500 to a thousand orders yes that does make the product a little more exposed but again it's just gonna make sure that you're selling a product that people actually want and when you're just starting with this stuff it's hard to know exactly what people want to buy this right here for example in my opinion is a really good holiday product so this has 4,000 orders so huge demand 4.6 out of 5 in terms of reviews that's really good you know that's actually really really solid and it only costs five to seven dollars and can ship from the US so this product right here I think is a great starting point for a brand this actually looks really cool you have a ton of different variants here you know if i was starting with something like this i would suggest that you only use like maybe five variants i wouldn't use all of these variants try to figure out which ones are the best selling and then now comes the next step so as you see these ship very quickly to you so what you should do now is ship these products to yourself if you're in the us but of course like i said if you're in any other country you know apply all all of the stuff that i'm telling you to your country okay but i'm from the us so i'm gonna do the us but basically now what you have to do is order these products to yourself order multiple of them if you order like 10 it's only going to cost you under a hundred dollars and what you can do then is not only use them yourself and make sure that you know they're what you're looking for but you can actually ship some out to some influencers so you could buy some packaging materials on amazon for example overnight them to your house, contact some influencers, tell them that you'll send them your product for free in order for some content. And then of course you yourself can take some content with just your iPhone for your social media pages and stuff like that. And boom, you just started your dropshipping business off so much better than any competitor would just by taking these little steps that I just showed you. And the cool thing about this is that now your business is not at risk of you know being shut down because you just didn't know that the product was really bad quality or because you knew that the shipping time was just way too long and when you can actually start reducing the amount of problems in your business you will make more money you will have more time to spend on the right things and this will make you more profitable i mean if you can make your customers happier from the beginning this is just the that's the most solid foundation you can have and i think that's what most drop shippers don't understand is the fact that if you build a solid foundation to build your business on you'll make way more money you'll be much prouder of the business you've built and you'll actually have a business that can be run on autopilot in the future for a very long time as opposed to a store that will potentially die very very early on again no shame in that it's happened to me multiple times you know you'd learn from experience for some of you this may be simple advice but i truly think that the simple advice is probably the best advice most of the time and it really just takes you guys applying it as opposed to just listening me talking about it like actually do these things right don't be lazy don't procrastinate like take the extra steps that i just showed you i literally just shared with you the blueprint basically to start off on an amazing foundation and still be able to drop ship i've also been researching you know other potential us suppliers for example that do drop ship like this brand right here selvia uh, it's kind of like they have a bunch of different products in the u.s which is kind of cool i think that's nice and then you know there's this one sale ho and inventory source if any of you guys have used these in the past please let me know 
I would love to know your opinion on them. Maybe I'll review them for my channel or something like that. I think that could be cool. That'd be a good video idea. But really what gave me the inspiration for this is the brand that I started with my girlfriend. So we have built kind of a cult following with that. And today we actually received our boxes for our product. And we're taking the next step on this brand, which is handling our own inventory and really just improving the customer experience and product quality overall. I read this Elon Musk blog from 2006 in which he described the Tesla master plan. And it inspired me so much to really start focusing way more time into like research and development, making sure things are running better and that our products are better instead of spending so much money on ads because then we can focus more on content, which is what most businesses lack. And I know because I'm one of those businesses, you can never have too much content. And if we focus on that, we'll literally be able to grow the business extremely profitably with customers that truly love us. And yeah, Tesla is definitely one of the most inspiring brands to me, but I really hope that this helped some of you guys that are just starting out with the Shopify dropshipping. Again, I think it's an amazing business model if you do it the right way. And even though this video is quite simple, I think this is literally like the proper blueprint to starting a Shopify dropshipping business. If you don't wanna hold inventory, if you don't have all these resources like sourcing agents and stuff like that, this is literally all you need and the dropshipping center is actually free. So you don't even need to pay for any tools or anything. So the last thing I wanna mention here is we got art dropping soon on Netsphere. Netsphere is my creative company. I plan to do a lot of different things with it. It's very exciting. But the first thing that we're gonna be doing here pretty soon as a part of our e-commerce hybrid initiative is selling some art. So I made this right here and I absolutely love it. It's very minimal, but still has this like anime aesthetic that I like, but please just interpret it in any way that you want. That's kind of the point of the art after all. And you can sign up for the launch, which is going to be in like a week, but that's it. Hope y'all have an amazing rest of your day. See ya.